Good morning, students. Welcome to the 36th lecture of Environmental Engineering 2 subject. So, hope the classes are going uh, uniformly. So, we are completing the unit 3 and uh, I'm taking the subject for second years also, yes, juniors. So they have started unit three and you are uh, third years also, you are juniors. So today we are starting unit three. So moreover, uh, fourth year students are uh, going ahead than your juniors. That depends upon the topics. So your topics are totally theoretical. So there are no problems. So that's why they are lagging. You are moving forward, forward, no issues. One thing you have to get the knowledge, you have to get the sufficient information. And second thing, bit by bit, I have to cover the syllabus. So I don't want to take four units such a four units of the chip basis. So I will not say anything. So the last semester also you know about my strategy. So whatever is there in the syllabus, I will complete completely in all aspects without leaving anything. Why? Because if you see the movie, the entire movie is just seven kundi. You are not even a pro. A scene, that what they are doing. Interval, that what they are doing. A second part, that what they are doing. You can say any time at any place, everywhere. And if you are punching just like that, total get up and there is no use. So that is my policy. So if you know the entire movie, extra a scene, that what they are doing. The capacity of it. Then I can come to know, and you can come to know that you have you have understood the subject. So that is my intention. Okay. Yes. We'll start. So, which one? Who wants to share your project? Which one? Who wants to? One or two students. That's it. Koteshwar, Lokesh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we will discuss in this class. The topic is municipal wastewater treatment their stages right the last class we have discussed about the importance of flotation principles of flotation and the sanitary system so here we'll see the so this is a house where you are living and myself living so this is a layout of any house how the water is going out those who are coming fresh to the class just keep this figure in the mind and when on the question comes you can draw as you like, depends upon the question. Next, this is a wastewater management flow chart, how the flow chart is moving. So this is also Nirut. With this figure, how to start the theory. So this is stages of treatment, primary stage, secondary stage. So this is unit three, this is unit four. Okay. So I think totally you are having six units, right? Yes, six, six units in my market. Okay, no issues. Yes. The typical sewage treatment process in Canadian municipalities. So, my country lo other countries lo how the municipality system is arranged. So, manak goda by by because we are copycats. So, manam ye country lo engineer gunda I mean choose korn manam apply just thar na bati. Manak goda ilat type of system onto onri, but the figure is depicted from Canadian municipalities. Right. So, if you get a general question in this uh, subject, so some general topics put in and discuss yesterday. Why? Because in the question papers last year's before last year's question papers, you are getting some sort of general questions also. Why? Because environmental engineering is a general subject. Kaabati. Any department should learn similar course, you know, for example, mechanical or maybe industrial or maybe environmental engineering. So, Many majority of engineering students have to learn about the basics of this subject. So that's why if you get any general question, how to solve this general question, I am, I am discussing some sort of generalized topics also. So if you see the sources of water, how we are getting the sources of water. In the last class we have discussed about how we are collecting the sanitary sewage. Design local, collect flotation. 
టాపిక్ అయిన తర్వాత ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఆఫ్ రొటేషన్ అయిన తర్వాత వేర్ ఆర్ ద పాయింట్స్ చెక్ పాయింట్స్ ఫర్ కలెక్టింగ్ ద వాటర్ అన్నప్పుడు ఇది చెప్పుకున్నాం ఇక్కడ కలెక్ట్ చేయొచ్చు వాటర్ శాంపుల్ ఇక్కడ కలెక్ట్ చేయొచ్చు ఇక్కడ కలెక్ట్ చేయొచ్చు ఇక్కడ కలెక్ట్ చేయొచ్చు ఇక్కడ లైక్ దిస్ వీ హ్ మెన్షన్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ స్టేజెస్ సో దెర్ ఇస్ నో లిమిట్ సో వాటర్ ని ఎక్కడ మనకి మురికి వాటర్ వస్తుందో ఏ ఏ ఛానల్స్ ద్వారా వస్తుందో ఎక్కడైనా మనకి టెస్ట్ చేసే కెపాసిటీ ఉంది ఇన్ ద సేమ్ వే ఇన్ ద సేమ్ వే హియర్ వీఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ వే ద సోర్స్ ఆర్ వాటర్ ఈస్ కమింగ్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ద కన్వెన్షనల్ మెథడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇఫ్ సీ ద సోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఈస్ సర్ఫేస్ వాటర్ అదర్ వన్ ఈస్ అ గ్రౌండ్ వాటర్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ గెట్ ఎ క్వశ్చన్ మీరు ఇష్టం వచ్చిన డ్రాయర్స్ బట్ ద థింగ్ ఈస్ ఫస్ట్ క్లారిఫికేషన్ ఉండాలి రైట్ ద ఫస్ట్ కేస్ ఈస్ సర్ఫేస్ వాటర్ సెకండ్ కేస్ ఈస్ గ్రౌండ్ వాటర్ మేక్ ఎ నోట్స్ ఆఫ్ సోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ సర్ఫేస్ వాటర్ గ్రౌండ్ వాటర్ సో సర్ఫేస్ వాటర్ మీరు తీసుకుంటే సో హౌ యూఆర్ గెటింగ్ ది సర్ఫేస్ వాటర్ త్రూ రెయిన్స్ సో సర్ఫేస్ వాటర్ ఎలా ఉండదు అని పేర్లు ఎలా పెడుతున్నాము లేక్స్ అని చెప్పొచ్చు మీరు చూసి లేక్ అని చెప్పొచ్చు చిన్నగా ఉంటే పాండ్స్ అని చెప్పొచ్చు కాలువల్లాగా ఉంటే స్ట్రీమ్స్ అని చెప్పొచ్చు రైట్ సో మనకి రివర్కి పెద్దగా ఉన్నా కూడా వీ కెప్ట రివర్స్ అండ్ స్టోరేజ్ ఇస్ అర్ వాయర్స్ సో టోటల్లీ వీఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఫైవ్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ సర్ఫేస్ వాటర్ సో ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ అ లేక్స్ పాండ్స్ స్ట్రీమ్స్ రివర్స్ అండ్ స్టోరేజ్ రిజర్ వాయర్స్ రైట్ నెక్స్ట్ కమింగ్ టు ద గ్రౌండ్ వాటర్ గ్రౌండ్ వాటర్లో చూసుకుంటే ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఓపెన్ ఛానల్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ అ ఓపెన్ ఛానల్స్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఈజ్ ట్యూబ్ వెల్స్ థర్డ్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఆర్టిజన్ వెల్స్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఈజ్ స్ప్రింగ్స్ ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ఫిల్ట్రేషన్ సో గ్రౌండ్ వాటర్ అంటే మనకి భూమిలో నుంచి వచ్చే వాటర్ సో ఈ వాటర్ భూమిలో ఎలా ఉంటుంది జనరల్లీ ఫ్రమ్ ద రెయిన్స్ సో ద రెయిన్ వాటర్ వెన్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ డీపర్ డీపర్ లేయర్స్ ఆఫ్ Uh, layers of ground ground layers will do with the layers layers will do it is forming a water table inside the ground it may be the open wells open wells what we are creating tube wells what we are using by submersible pumps we are making a tube wells artisan wells what we are initial old and days where we are having artisan wells right springs and infiltration so these are the various sources of water we are getting through rain so dinu green choka తీరి రాయమంటే లేక్స్ తీసుకోవడం త్రీ ఫోర్ పాయింట్స్ పాయింట్స్ స్ట్రీమ్స్ రివర్స్ రిజర్వ్ వాయిస్ లైక్ దిస్ యువర్ రైట్ త్రీ ఫోర్ పాయింట్స్ ప్లేస్ అపాన్ ద టాపిక్ నెక్స్ట్ సో ఫర్ దిస్ మున్సిపల్ వేస్ట్ తయారు అవడానికి సో మనం ఇప్పుడు చెప్పుకున్న ఫస్ట్ యూనిట్ సెకండ్ యూనిట్ థర్డ్ యూనిట్ లో వేస్ట్ వాటర్ గురించి చెప్పుకోవడానికి సో హౌ ద వాటర్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ ఏదర్ బై రైన్ ఆర్ బై దిస్ గ్రౌండ్ వాటర్ సో ఈ వాటర్ ని మనము డొమెస్టిక్ లో యూస్ చేస్తున్నాం ఇండస్ట్రీలో యూస్ చేస్తున్నాం దెన్ వీ ఆర్ కన్వర్టింగ్ ఇన్ టు సీవేజ్ వేస్ట్ వాటర్ సో ఈ సీవేజ్ వేస్ట్ వాటర్ మళ్ళీ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ప్లాంట్ కి వెళ్ళి అక్కడ మళ్ళీ ట్రీట్ అయ్యి అక్కడ మళ్ళీ మనకి వేస్ట్ వాటర్ ని డిస్చార్జ్ చేసేసి మళ్ళీ నాట్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ గుడ్ వాటర్ మళ్ళీ రీసైకిల్ చేస్తున్నాం సో ఈ ఫిగర్ ఎక్కడ చూస్తున్నాము యూ కెన్ సీ దిస్ ఫిగర్ హియర్ రైట్ సో వాటర్ వాటర్ అంతా వచ్చి వేస్ట్ వాటర్ కి వచ్చినప్పుడు వేస్ట్ వాటర్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఈస్ కలెక్టింగ్ ద వాటర్ ఫ్రమ్ వేరియస్ ప్లేసెస్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ట్రీటింగ్ ఇట్ ఇన్ డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ వేస్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టింగ్ టు ద అదర్ వేస్ ఆఫ్ యూసేజ్ అండ్ బ్యాలెన్స్ వాటర్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు దోషన్స్ నా విల్ డిస్కస్ ఇన్ జనరల్ కన్వెన్షనల్ సర్ఫేస్ వేస్ట్ వాటర్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ సో హియర్ వాట్స్ హ్యాపనింగ్ సో ద కన్వెన్షనల్ సర్ఫేస్ వేస్ట్ వాటర్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ప్లాంట్స్ ఆర్ స్టిల్ బీయింగ్ యూజ్డ్ which are consists of several steps in treatment process so when we technically technically if you are speaking according to the syllabus we are having primary treatment process secondary treatment process and tertiary treatment process otherwise so but when when we are speaking conventionally conventionally or in terms of municipal wastewater treatment we are having number of methods so manam dan separate chesi కొన్ని తీసుకొచ్చి ప్రైమరీలో పెట్టాము కొన్ని మెథడ్స్ తీసుకెళ్లి సెకండరీలో పెట్టాము కొన్ని తీసుకెళ్లి మనం టెరిషరీలో యూజ్ చేసుకున్నాం బట్ ఆల్ టు ద కామన్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ గెట్ ఎ జనరలైజ్డ్ క్వశ్చన్ హౌ ద మున్సిపల్ వేస్ట్ వాటర్ ఈస్ ట్రీట్ అన్నప్పుడు మీరు ఈ పాయింట్స్ రాయాలి ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ అ కలెక్షన్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఈస్ క్లీనింగ్ అండ్ స్ట్రైనింగ్ థర్డ్ వ
sixth one is filtration seventh one is disinfection eighth one is storage ninth one is distribution so these are the three these are the nine things these are the nine things where we are using for municipal wastewater treatment so generalized ga if you want to know the topic these are the things so if you get a two months question or a write a short notes e topics meeru rasukovachu so technically if you are speaking so what are the three types of treatment process annapudu three types e kabatti meeru dinlo nine unnai idillo emi raayagundi if you get a question explain the three types of treatment waste water treatment process annapudu what are the three methods primary method secondary method tertiary method so primary method is third unit second method is fourth unit fifth unit is tertiary method and activated sludge management antam so four units kalpi oka question la ivvadu kabatti he will ask in a point wise briefly briefly he will ask primary secondary and tertiary so commercial ga or conventional ga if you get a question uh, explain about municipal waste water treatment annapudu meeru ee topics raayali right right topic right one, one or two centers if they asked special question ichinapudu write a short notes on coagulation and flocculation or define define filtration or define chemical addition ana ichinapudu meeru ee topics gurinchi discuss cheyali right now we'll discuss these topics one by one collection so manam idi ee stage lo unnamo waste water industry nunchi domestic purpose domestic nunchi ah storm water nunchi pipes dwara sewer pipes dwara vachi oka chota kalustu akka nunchi manam start chestunnam means ee nine topics ee figure lo chudachu you can see in this figure this figure this ikkada chustunnam ee nine topics ikkada manam discuss chestunnam right ఈ లోపల జరిగే టాపిక్స్ మనం డిస్కస్ చేస్తాం ఈ నైన్ టాపిక్స్ దీని లోపల మళ్ళీ సపరేట్ అయ్యి ఉంటుంది ప్రైమరీ ట్రీట్మెంట్ లో సెకండరీ ట్రీట్మెంట్ లో థర్డ్ టెరిషరీ ట్రీట్మెంట్ డోంట్ గెట్ కన్ఫ్యూజ్ రైట్ ఓకే ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ కలెక్షన్ ద సోర్స్ వాటర్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫార్ ద మున్సిపల్ సర్ఫేస్ విత్ వాటర్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ప్లాంట్ ఈస్ టిపికల్లీ ఏ లోకల్ రివర్ సో ఫస్ట్ స్లైడ్ లో ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ స్లైడ్ వి హవ్ డిస్కస్డ్ అబౌట్ ద sources of water that is from the lakes ponds rivers streams wells etc so the water for the municipal surface treatment we are getting from local rivers lakes or reservoirs there must be a method to get this water to the water treatment plant so source water source degi nunchi municipal water municipal treatment ku vachedaniki we require some source quite often a series of pumps and pipelines transport over transport the water to the treatment plant then what is a what is a method ante maniki oka nadullo nunchi oka jalasayallo nunchi reservoir lo nunchi maniki municipal tank untundi kada prati urlo prati village lo prati area lo high rise tanks untai pedda tanks prati uriki prati area ku oka tank untundi so ee tank lo okaliki nadullo nunchi vachi water ela velthundi so we require some sort of method what is that method pumping method సో గ్రావిటీగా జనరల్ గా అయితే వెళ్ళదు ఎందుకంటే కింద నుంచి పైకి వెళ్ళాలి కాబట్టి వీ షుడ్ నాట్ యూస్ గ్రావిటీ మెథడ్ సో వీ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ పంపింగ్ టెక్నాలజీ సో ఇట్ ఇస్ నాట్ వెరీ న్యూ టెక్నాలజీ ఇట్ ఇస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఓల్డ్ టెక్నాలజీ బట్ ద సోర్స్ ఈస్ వీ హూ నో వీ హూ నో ద ఫండమెంటల్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద పంప్స్ అండ్ ద పైప్ లైన్స్ ద పైప్ లైన్స్ రైట్ నెక్స్ట్ అట్ ద వాటర్ ప్లాంట్ అట్ ద వాటర్ ప్లాంట్ ద లార్జ్ పంప్స్ ఆర్ యూజ్ టు ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ద వాటర్ అప్ టు ద ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఫెసిలిటీ ఓకే so this large pumps are used in two ways collecting the water from the source and the rivers lakes reservoirs they get collected and ki tank lo store cheyadaniki and pumping those water from the tank to the stations what are the stations domestic gaani industry gaani other things okay treatment facilities are often engineered to use utilize gravity water flow as much as possible to reduce the pumping cost so manaki చిన్న ఎగ్జాంపుల్ తీసుకుంటే ఫ్రమ్ అవర్ హో హౌస్ ఓన్లీ మనకి బావిలో నుంచి పైన సే సింటెక్స్ ట్యాంక్ లోకి వాటర్ పంపించాలంటే వీ రిక్వైర్ టూ థింగ్స్ వన్ ఈస్ పంప్ అండ్ పైప్ లైన్ రైట్ సో పంప్ ద్వారా మనము బావిలో నుంచి నీళ్లు తీసుకొని పైప్ లైన్ ద్వారా మనం ట్యాంక్ లోకి పంపిస్తున్నాం ప్రిజర్ వాయిన్ దెన్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ దోస్ వాటర్ జస్ట్ యూఆర్ చోనింగ్ ద ట్యాప్ దేర్ బై త్రూ ద 
gravity. So, we have a pump only used only through by gravity flow. The water from the tank is flowing through the pipeline and coming to your tap in the bathroom. So, this can minimize the pumping cost. So, how this collection is taking place? The collection is taking place by the means of pumps and pipelines incoming and output. And the simple terms flow, you have to understand. Next, second one screening and straining. Screening and straining. If you think, if you think about the surface water sources such as rivers, lakes, reservoirs, you realize they carry, they contain varying amounts of suspended and dissolved material. Whatever the water we are getting from the sources that is rivers, the bodies of rivers, lakes and reservoirs, some amount of or large amount of suspended materials and dissolved materials are carried through the water, water also. This material may include turbidity, color, taste, odor, microorganisms, fish, plants, trees, trash, debris. So debris and the chatta. So D E B R A S. So E chatta yema in the chu. It may be the microorganisms, dead fishes, dead plants, dead trees, dead trash, etc. So din man in chiali, sudhi chiali. Sudhi chiali ante. We use screening methods, various types of screening and straining methods. So, Miru, me into Bavi, Unna Koda, Bavi will just talk a pipe, it is just a pump, and me will just like. But a water, Manchiva, Chedava, local or solid particles, Naya, Lena, Yala, there is only. So, we keep some foot wall, foot wall inside the well. Pipe connection, we are attaching a foot wall. We are attaching a strainer. So thereby, whenever we are storing the pump, motor pump, so solid particles are not filter. We are getting only water through the pipe. So in the same way, large content flow, municipal, municipal treatment content flow, large content flow. So we are getting, we are getting this waste along with the water. The material may be organic or inorganic material, right? The organic containing plants, trees. Uh, other any uh, microorganisms. Inorganic means plastic, mud, uh, metals, rubber, inorganic material, chemicals. Suspended or dissolved. Suspended or dissolved. Inert or biologically active and vary in size from colloidal to the tree trunk. Okay. Some of these larger items can imp some of these larger items can impediment through the equipment in the treatment process such as tree limb getting stuck to the water pump in the lab. so whenever we are not screening these materials what happens so for a tree yoka, comma tree of the limb getting stuck with the water pump in the lab. so water impeller loan in chimaniki water on the money pump out the lava so whenever we are not screening these materials chetu kommalu chetu motulu right so this will go and stuck or hit the impeller and will not work the pump and makes to not work the pump so what happens maintenance cost is only damage of materials the damage of equipment also will happen so the first process in conventional water treatment so what is the first part process in the conventional water treatment is to screen or strain out the larger items First, first, we have to see how the organic and inorganic waste coming through the pipe from the rivers or ponds or reservoirs. First, we have to screen out them. First, we have to separate them. Right? So, that is the first unconventional method to remove those things. This is often accomplished using a large metal screen. And together, normal was tool to plastic or rubber. Uh, nets used and that's why we are using a big metal screen to separate those large items often called as bar screens the technical words will put the bar screen and to separate the very very large items of trees of any uh, animals dead animals or any some things we are using this bar screens which is placed in front of the water source intake. Large items are trapped on the screen as the water passes through it. 
these screens must routinely be racked and cleaned up so screens unte saripothunda bar screens no so whenever the big blocks of trees and other material are coming and touching or coming and settling at the bar screens along with this the water is going on the other end so water manaki elipothundundi ee vachi manaki bar screens dekkara addu padutundi so ee addu paddam manamu regular ga manam clean cheyakapothe ఆ అడ్డు పడిన దాని మీద ఇంకొక లేయర్ ఇంకొక లేయర్ ఇంకొక లేయర్ వచ్చి ఫైనల్ గా మనకి అక్కడ కెపాసిటీ పెరిగిపోయి వై బికాస్ వీఆర్ ఆపరేటింగ్ విత్ పంప్స్ పంప్ అనేది డ్యామేజ్ అయిపోతుంది అండ్ ఆల్సో ద వాటర్ ఫ్లో అనేది తగ్గిపోతుంది దట్స్ వై వీ హ్యావ్ టు క్లీన్ ద బార్ ర్యాక్స్ ఫ్రీక్వెంట్లీ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు అవాయిడ్ రోస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ సో దిస్ కెన్ బి డన్ బై యూజింగ్ ద సెకండ్ మెథడ్ దట్ ఈస్ క్లీనింగ్ అండ్ స్ట్రైనింగ్ మెథడ్ వట్ ఇట్ నెక్స్ట్ థర్డ్ వన్ chemical addition method the third conventional method is chemical addition so once the pre screened source water is received into the treatment plant chemicals are added with the help make the suspended particles that are floating on the water clump together to form a heavier and larger gelatinous particle often called flock so what happens once the Uh, large stocks of material this matter is collected at the bar stock in the second stage so in this term so we are separating all these items separated from the water and we are taking this pre screened ante pre screened ante initial ga screen ayya water ni but even though aa chettu moddulu chettu kommalu animals dead animals avi avi aa water lopala vachina kuda so once it is treated once it is the water is we have taken that is not pure water danlo kuda malli chatta untundi right so once the pre screened source of water is received into the treatment tank into the treatment plant what we are doing water chidipokunda water ni manamu clean chestunnam ela clean cheyali we are adding chemicals to the water way to remove the suspended particles that are floating on the water floating in the water clump so whatever the clumps whatever the materials that are suspended or dissolved in the water so if we drain cheyadaniki we are adding some chemicals right we are adding some chemicals next so to form the heavier larger clumps together to form heavier and larger gelatin particles often called as flock often called as flock then what is the meaning of flock here flock means the materials which are floating on the water the materials which are floating on the water in this process in this process a chemical is added that reacts with the natural alkalinity in solution to form the insoluble precipitate so during this process we are adding various types of chemicals organic chemicals and inorganic chemicals thereby the alkalinity of the water should not be changed so that's thing we are adding in we are doing it during in the doing in the third stage of chemical addition so there are many different chemicals that are added in the water in the market that are used in this process these chemicals are called one of the most common has been used for many years is aluminum sulfate simply i want to know alum and alum so you can purchase alum outside also so manaki any kirana stores or kachari stores will go and ask alum adi manaku spatika telugu lo spatika antam spatika laga untundi so mai intlo water ni meer suddhi cheyal anukunte take a small stone of alum and dip in the water throw in the water bucket bucket of water so konse payin tarvata adi karigi poyi వాటర్ లో వల్ల మనీల మనకి కనబడిన మనీల అంతా సో మన కడ కనబడిన వేస్ట్ అంతా మనకి అది లాగేసుకొని సెంటర్ లో తీసుకొచ్చి పెడుతుంది దెన్ వాటర్ ని డిస్టర్బ్ చేయకుండా చేత్తో గాని ఒక చిన్న స్పూన్ తో గాని ఒక ఎర్న ఒక ఐటమ్ తో గాని జస్ట్ డిప్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద వాటర్ అట్ ద సెంటర్ అండ్ కలెక్ట్ దోస్ వేస్ట్ మెటీరియల్ దట్ ఈస్ అ ఫంక్షన్ ఆఫ్ యాలమ్ సో కమర్షియల్ గా వాట్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఇస్ ఐటమ్ దే ఆర్ యూజింగ్ ఫర్ ద లాంగ్ ఇయర్స్ aluminum sulfate and the technical word is aluminum sulfate or we are calling simply as alum alum some of other very popular coagulants are ferrite sulfate ferric chloride sodium aluminate activated silica so coagulants ante ive what are the 
materials which are adding those are activated silica ferrous sulfate ferric chloride sodium aluminate and the compounds are called polymers that are manufactured chemicals made up of repeated small units of low molecular weight combined into the molecules with very large molecular weight so in the sodium or some level so simply you can write some of the technical words that is covalent such as ferric sulfate ferric chloride sodium aluminate activated silica so these are added into the water in order to get separated the other solid materials so like this simply you can close this third one that is chemical action okay these polymers are classified as cationic polymers on the positively charged is nothing but cationic polymers and anionic polymers that is negatively charged and anionic polymers that is neutrally charged regardless of which covalent or combination of covalent is used they must be mixed very well with the water before they can form a heavier flock so manaki heavier flock and the heavier substrate laga and the water meeda floating out untundi ivanni so manaki heavier flow form ayye munde so we have to add or we have to mix these chemicals into the water so that it will be dispersed legapothe em jarugutundi this this layer will become hard heavier and floats on the water which disturbs to the next treatment level right next one coagulation and flocculation next method is coagulation and flocculation treatment method here a rapid mixing a rapid mixing unit is usually used where the coagulant is added to the water to provide a very quick and thorough mixing the water mixing is then slowed to allow the water to come in contact with the forming flock and allow it to increase the size so what happens here so this is making the water is mixing is then slowed to allow the water to come in contact with the forming the flock and allow to increase the size then where by what happens here the continued mixing must be gentle so when or you are mixing this type of coagulation materials into the water the mixing should be gentle rough ga manam mix cheyagaledu gently ga smooth ga we should mix to allow the flock to grow and gain the weight but fast enough to keep in in suspension until you are ready for the settle in the next clarifiers so like this you have to do whenever you are in the coagulation and flocculation methods we have to allow the rapid mix with the gentle mixing with the gentle movement to allow the flock to grow and settle down with the gaining some weight so that it will be very easy to keep it in the suspension until it is ready for the next method this process of adding a chemical to cause the suspended material to clump into larger particles are called flocculation or coagulation so then what is the meaning of coagulation or flocculation means the process of adding a chemical to the to cause the suspended material to clump so chemicals and even done add chesinappudu chemicals and even water add chesinappudu whatever the matter which is in the water suspended materials this are making a clump in a large particle so adu maniki allo mix ayi pedda particle ga ante clump laga tayar ayi it is forming on the top surface of the water those process is nothing but flocculation or coagulation the treatment unit where coagulation and flocculation is performed is called flocculator so ee method ekkadaithe manam perform chestunnamo that type of performance is where it is carried out it is carried out in flocculator treatment unit what it flocculation and coagulation ani cheptaram so where it is done it is done in the unit that is known as flocculator next one sedimentation and clarification once the flocculation process is complete okay once the adding of this material will complete next the water then passes over the weir weir ante adoka channels anamata the water is then passes over the weir in the flocculator and travels to the center of the clarifier okay clarify ani manam last classes lo we are calling them as sedimentation tank also adam ayindi kada right clarifier or sedimentation basin right here the water makes 
it away from the center of a clarifier to the sawtooth wear at the perimeter of the unit. So whenever the water is pumping into the sedimentation tank, whatever the coagulation layer is forming on the water, it should be removed thereby this water of forming, this water of sending towards the center of the clarifier to, so the, to the sawtooth, sawtooth and the ekadaita manik captures to the sawtooth wear at the perimeter of the unit. As the water makes its way towards the wear, the large flock particles are allowed to settle out of the bottom of the clarifier. So whenever, whenever this water is making, whenever the, we are making a path, the, whenever you are making a path for water to move forwards to the wear, the large flock particles are settled out of the bottom of the clarifier, which is ready for cutting it. Right? So this is done in the sedimentation and the clarification process. A rake continuously travels across the bottom of the clarifier and scrapes the settled flock uh, to the center of the unit. So one keep a circle on the tank on the tank local of a sharp pet on the sharp blades. We are having a just like a fan blades, right? We are having a fan blades like this. So you rotate out the kind of layer low. So when you get a flock sante the sludge on the so whenever it is rotating, this makes clear sludge ni gaane, flocks ni gaane, a layers ni clear chesi through to napre injur this rack, this rack and the blades. This rack continuously travels across the bottom of the clarifier and scrapes the settled flock to the center of the unit. Pumps are used to pull the settled sludge out of the clarifier and sent to the sedimentation or disposal pond. The water that passes over the weir is collected and transferred to the filters. So, this center of this question is dispersed. The water is going to the other end. The, the sludge is going to the front view. The top view is the front view. The channel is going the sludge. The sludge is going to sludge disposal pond. So, like this, you are doing. So, you are going to see the slides of figures. Right? Next. The reason clarification occurs before filtration is the majority of suspended materials can be removed prior to the filtration, which avoids overloading of the filters and thus allows much more water to be filtered before the filters must be backwashed. Next one. Next one is filtration. So after the sedimentation, this one is a filtration. Next, the clarified water on the sedimentation line uh, treatment and water. The clarified water enters the filters from the top. Okay, from the top. Gravity pulls the water down through the filters where it is collected in the drain system at the bottom of the unit. So what happens here? The clarified water enters the filters from the top. The gravity pulls the water down through the filters where it is collected in the drain system at the bottom of the unit. So here the water is getting the water collected from the clarifier is entered into the filters from the top. Five inch maniki filters are built to the clarified water is entering into the filters from the top layer. Thereby, top layer is built in gravity. We, we does not require any pump technology. Thereby, through the gravity, the water comes down through the filters where it is collected in the drain system at the bottom of the unit. There are many different types of materials used in the filters. The most common being is sand and gravel. So, filter out and we are having various types of materials. The natural materials are sand and gravel, right? Next. Many conventional plants are now using plants means the units, foam sometimes. Many conventional plants are now using granular activated carbon as a media of choice because it does not, it not only provides excellent mechanical filtration of particulate matter, but also removes organic compounds which can use, which can cause taste and order problems. So, Manaki, not only removal of uh, particulate material, it also removes, which is causing the taste, taste order problems, key create chedha, it is also doing the problems. So, if you take an example, Manaki, activated carbon in your pair, Mirvine, on the TV, low, at the time, you can hear the nerve that is activated carbon. For example, I think uh, for gents, fair and handsome. So, we have a fair and handsome uh, Shahrukh and add up to 
so activated carbon ponds whatever the company i don't know exactly so uh, to see the ponds or the hans peren or peren handsome ad so you can see a small carbon so oka cream raskunte what happens whatever the dust particles is forming on the face it will collect activated carbon thereby your face will glow brighter and oka ad vastundi kada that is for ponds or it may be a gents Uh, fair and uh, handsome ad. So, down the floor, activated carbon analysis. We have a word as well. Art word. It is one already used in somewhere. It is used here. Organic compounds which can be used for the forms of nutrition for structure. So, activated carbon types of materials in the system. And many conventional plants are now using activated carbon. So, this activated carbon, just like a spatica, alum, right? next next one is disinfection once the water has gone through the filtration process it is about to clear and clean as it can get however there are still be bacteria and virus remaining in the water to ensure these are destroyed there must be a disinfection process employed the most common disinfection process used in the united states is chlorination method so not only in united states nowadays we are using everywhere chlorination method chlorine comes in many different forms including chlorine gas chloride dioxide bleaching and others so man generally manaki reservoirs to villages to tanks to manaki bleaching vestam so chlorine ekku motadalu veste man problems ostundi takku motadalu veste the virus ani bacteria si vanni kill chestunnam that is nothing but disinfection next the next uh, treatment is disinfection whichever method is used a method ena we can use it chlorine is added to the water in amount to ensure all microorganisms that are destroyed so chlorine is the best method water plants monitor the chlorine level continuously and very carefully to treat the water they must add enough chlorine to ensure thorough disinfection of the water but avoid adding excess that can cause taste and odor problems which deliver to the consumers so when a consumer ki manaki pumpe mundu so ekku veste you are getting taste and odor problems that's why optimum amount of chlorine should be done next one is storage once the dis- disinfection process is complete the water is stored storage usually takes place in underground storage tanks called a clear well and also in elevated storage tanks that are visible around the town they must always be ample supply of water available in the event and emergencies this can include power outages fires floods etc so manik water store ela avutundi bhoomi kinda dan emantram clear well antunnamo భూమి పైన ఎలివేటెడ్ ట్యాంక్స్ మనకి ప్రతి టౌన్ లో మనకి బయట పైకి కనిపిస్తుంటది అనమాట సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద స్టేజెస్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సో వన్స్ ద వాటర్ ఈస్ స్టోర్డ్ ఇన్ ద ట్యాంక్స్ సో వీఆర్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ త్రూ ద పైప్ లైన్స్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ద టౌన్ విచ్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సిస్టమ్ ద డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సిస్టమ్ కన్సిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ లార్జర్ వాటర్ పంప్స్ అట్ ద ట్రీట్మెంట్ ప్లాంట్ ఓవర్ హెడ్ వాటర్ ట్యాంక్స్ లార్జ్ పైప్ లైన్స్ స్మాలర్ పైప్ లైన్స్ ఫైర్ హైడ్రెంట్స్ వాల్స్ వాటర్ మీటర్స్ అన్ని ఫ్రంట్ ద యార్డ్ so like this the total conventional municipal waste water treatment is going on everywhere in the world so this are the general terms so the time is very less so thanks for listening this uh, video so once this video is uploaded in the channel i will forward this link to your whatsapp group do watch it send to the other students those 